Hey, Jack. Do you know anything about HTML viewport? Alexa, what's HTML viewport? Hmm, I don't know that one. Hmm. Let's see if I find something on YouTube. Welcome back in a new episode of Div by Div. Today we are going to see what's the HTML viewport, what's the viewport meta tag and how to use it. Let's get started. The browser viewport is the area of the window in which the web content can be seen. Now that we know what is the browser viewport, we can go forward and start to use the meta viewport. The meta viewport has two main attributes, the name and the content. The name is going to be viewport and inside the content we can define different kind of properties like width, height, user scalable, initial scale, minimum scale and maximum scale. The width and the height of the viewport can be defined with the pixel size or with special properties like device width and height width. The initial scale, the minimum scale and the maximum scale defining the range of zoom of the page when it's visualized in mobile devices. The user scalable property the true or false depending on if you want the user to be able to zoom or not your website. Usually it's better to leave it as true as default is because if some of your users has a eyes problem it's gonna be nicer to leave the possibility to zoom in and out. As general rule, in the meta viewport I'm defining the width as device width, so it's fitting to any devices, and the initial scale as 1, so the level of zoom is gonna be 1. Enough with the theory, let's go with the live example. Ok, here I prepare a simple example with the index HTML page um, and an app CSS. And as you see in the screen, we created a beautiful website. In this case, it's just a simple page with the orange-red background color, a text in the center and an image in the center. The image in this example is a placeholder image. If you didn't check my video about the placeholder image, please check out the link above or in the description below. Ok, looking in the index.html, we see that I didn't defy the meta viewport yet. So the page is looking good on desktop, let's go and see what happened on mobile. We see that um, the um, font size is really small and the image is really small too. And uh, let's go and uh, add the meta viewport. Let's save. And uh, we can see that now the font is uh, adapted to the viewport of the device and the image too. So it's really is more readable. And from now we can go on and apply media queries rules to the CSS to tweak our design for mobile devices. In the new video we are going to go deeper in the responsive web development process and learn about media queries and how to use them. So stay tuned. If you like this video click the like button and subscribe to the channel to don't miss any new episode. Have a nice day and happy coding!